the Fibonacci sequence is a pattern of numbers having many applications in real life. Learn what this is here in Mathematics of Engineering. Fibonacci sequence is the number pattern which generates the succeeding term by adding the two preceding terms. The first two terms of the sequence are 0 and 1, and these are tagged as f sub 0 and f sub 1. To show how the sequence is generated, we add 0 plus 1 to have the third term 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, 5 plus 8 is 13. Add 13 to 8, which is 21. Now, 13 plus 21 is 34. 21 plus 34 is 55. Then again, 34 plus 55 is 89. 55 plus 89 is 144, and 89 and 144 turns as 233. Then the process goes on. Generally, to determine the nth term of the sequence, one has to undergo iteration. Again, the third term is the sum of the first and the second terms. For example, we are to determine the sixth term of the Fibonacci-like sequence having initial terms negative 10, 3, negative 7, negative 4. As these are the first four terms in the sequence, we can iterate f sub 5 by adding negative 7 plus negative 4, which is negative 11. Then we can identify the required f sub 6, which is solved by adding negative 4 and negative 11, or that is negative 15. Take another example of iteration where we are required the seventh term of the Fibonacci-like sequence having the terms 996, 2, 998, 1000, 1998, which we can tag as f sub 1 to f sub 5. So through iteration, we can generate f sub 6 as the sum of 1000 and 1998, resulting to 2998. Then finally, F sub 7 is determined by 1998 plus 2998, which is 4996. Now let's write the Fibonacci sequence until we reach some big numbers. We continue by taking the ratio of the terms. Starting with 1 divided by 1 as 1. Then, 2 divided by 1 is 2. Now 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. Also, 5 divided by 3 is 1.67. We proceed with 8 divided by 5 as 1.6. Then 13 divided by 8 is 1.625. Also, 21 divided by 13 is 1.615. Then 34 divided by 21 is 1.619. We keep taking the ratio from 55 divided by 34 as 1.618. Then 89 divided by 55 is 1.618. Now try the next 144 divided by 89 which is still 1.618. And even when we try computing throughout the rest of the sequence, the resulting ratio is 1.618. This constant ratio is termed as the golden ratio notated as phi. So phi is 1.618. Having a common ratio, we can then say that Fibonacci sequence is somehow a sort of geometric sequence with some conditions. As noted from the process earlier, 
varying ratios came out from the initial terms. And it stabilized only after some terms. So instead of the end term equated to the initial term, we will have to equate it with f sub 12. The formula has a lower limit of 12 and infinity as the upper limit. Let's validate the formula with an example we solved from the earlier discussion. Say we are looking for the 20th term of the Fibonacci sequence. Instead of iterating, we can solve for f sub 20 with, with f sub 12 multiplied by the common ratio, which is the golden ratio, raised to n minus 12. Place the values, so f sub 20 is then 144 multiplied by 1.618 raised to 20 minus 12, which turns out as 6,763.8. Check the value by iteration. So by using f sub 18 and f sub 19, which are 2,584 plus 4,181, gives us 6,765. The small deviation is due to the rounding off of the golden ratio, so using more decimal places can close down the gap. Let's have this second example again from the previous discussion. Look for the 15th term of the Fibonacci sequence. So using the generated formula, we have f sub 15 is equal to 144 times 1.618 raised to 15 minus 12, yielding 609.96. Check this answer through iteration, where we need f sub 13 and 14, which are 233 and 377, giving a total of 610. There is another method of determining the nth term of the Fibonacci sequence, and that is through Binet's formula, which shows f sub n as the ratio of the root of 5 with the difference of 1 plus the root of 5 all over 2 raised to n and 1 minus the root of 5 all over 2 raised to n. If one tries to compute for the quantity half of 1 plus root of 5 all over 2, one would notice that this gives 1.618, which we have seen earlier as the golden ratio. Also, the second term is computed as negative 0.618, which we can express as 1 minus the golden ratio. Thus, the Binet's formula can also be shown using phi as f sub n is equal to the ratio of phi raised to n minus the quantity of 1 minus phi raised to n all over the root of 5. We solve the same first example using Binet's formula this time. The first example requires the 20th term of the Fibonacci sequence, so by using Binet's formula, we have f sub 20 as the ratio of 1 0.618 raised to 20 minus the quantity of 1 minus 1.618 raised to 20 with the root of 5. And computing the expression, we get 6,762.16. From the iteration shown earlier, the exact value is 6,765. With the 15th term, we have f sub 15 as 1.618 raised to 15 minus the quantity of 1 minus 1.618 raised to 15. Then everything is divided by root of 5 to get 609.81, which is also close to the iterated value of 610.